Okay, final assembly time. So, the biggest challenge is to make sure the stack fits without vibration transfer. So you don't want anything knocking against, don't want anything on the flight controller knocking against anything else. And uh, that, in, that means you need to have enough, you need to use these gummies and it needs to have enough clearance here. Now part of my problem originally was, although I thought I was using half nuts, I wasn't using half nuts. So I've got half nuts on there now. And you can just see the difference between a half nut and a full nut there, just in terms of the, the width. Uh, you can see just half nut, it's a lot narrower. So I've now got half nuts underneath. Uh, it looks like there's still enough clearance there. Um, I mean, I might just try sticking a piece of paper or something underneath there just to check that there's no possibility of a short. Can I get a pin down there? Because there's a. That's okay. There's another one below. I think it's okay. I might just have a, a peek just with some binoculars on. Let's just see what I can see. It's a little difficult to say. I'm slightly concerned that those middle pillars are touching, so I need to figure that out. All right, so I think that was a good catch. So I wasn't, I, I, I cut a piece of paper Tried to get it underneath. I couldn't really get it underneath. Um, the conformal coating probably would have saved me, but to be safe, what I've done is lifted the ESC and then put a piece of electrical tape just over those um, countersunk nuts. So uh, I have to fit this now. I'm going to fit that facing forward. Now the challenge is getting this to fit while still leaving enough clearance and everything is fine apart from this uh, can connector you see here. It sits a bit prouder than everything else and uh, if I was really keen I would probably just detach this. I'm not going to use can so I would probably take that off or possibly take the top, just file off the top bit just to, to create a bit more clearance because as it is, it's very, very, very tight. Very tight indeed. And uh, I think it's going to be hard to, uh, you can see when I push down on that, I need enough clearance to get the washer on the, the nut on the top, but that is just a little bit too, much so um yeah annoying could do with i suppose with 22 mil bolts that might work but i don't think you can get 22 mil bolts so i think i'll probably just make it make it work as it is uh, but you just have to be very careful not to get if this is touching then you get vibration transferring and that really sh throws off a lot of the auto modes i also couldn't use the gummies that come with the Matex, because they're a bit too deep on top. So I've used the taller ones that come with the ESC, and they seem to be just about right. Um, but uh, the question is whether that will fit properly. So I can plug this guy in now. Uh, it's probably that way up, isn't it? Yep. 
and then I've also cut a bit of foam to cover it so the barometer is just here with a little hole in it so I cut a bit of foam that works around the SD card and I need to throw an SD card in there so let's find a nice big SD card that I can put in there because they're quite difficult to get out once you've mounted the thing so I'll stick that in there foam on there facing forward and the foam helps to provide a little bit of vibration isolation as well so that's all facing forward and then with any luck I can put these nylon nuts on the top marginal though. I think I might see whether I can find 22mm M3 because it's just the way they've changed the AC and with these extra, see before I had, well, didn't have much more space, I suppose. Maybe the base plate's a bit thicker, that might be what's going on as well. Probably is, they're probably lost. Hey, every, every millimeter counts here. Oh, there we go. So if the base plate is one mil thicker, then I've lost a millimeter in this stack height. So that all fits on and those nuts are biting. You can see they're a bit squeezed there. But the can connector, my guess is that the can connector is touching. Yeah it is it is touching. So I think what I'm going to do, I just don't, that's just not going to end as its success. So I think what I'm going to do, so I've got these new, these new crimps, which are great. And one of the things they've got is an M3 bolt cutter. So what I think I might do is cut down some 25 mil bolts to 22 mil. And that might, I didn't catch that. Could might, you again? might just give me the space that I need. So I think that's probably the way to do it. So I need 22 mil, so I'll find some 25 mil and cut those down. Because that's with that touching there, that's just not gonna, that's gonna be, you can get vibration through the frame and the thing is not gonna tune well at all. So I think I might do that next. Right, so. That's my little Christmas miracle. This tool worked amazingly well, amazingly. So I had some 25 millimeter bolts and uh, the way this works is you screw it in to there, through, and then you cut it. Uh, fortunately, I think the ones I had weren't hardened steel. It might have been harder if they hardened steel. But the nice thing is this, the gap here is three mil, this, uh, the thickness of this metal. So all I had to do was take my 25 mil screw them all the way through till it just protruded the other side, just like that. So then I had 22 mil left, cut the end off. And then the nice thing about this threaded thing is that then when you uns unscrew it, it corrects any deviations or errors in the thread that, uh, that the cutting process has uh, introduced. So I got four nice clean cuts, not sharp at all. And an extra two mil of height, which is just what I need. So I'm going to stick this guy in here. Yep, like that. Stick that guy in there. Put, I've got my SD card on. Put the foam underneath and pop it down. And there, perfect. So now you can see 
just got that extra, I mean really it's only a mil because I was compressing it, got that extra millimeter. Those nylon nuts fit nicely on top now. So I don't need to compress the um, the gummies at all. Pop that one on there. So those fit nicely, and hopefully there's a little bit of a gap here. Well, still not much, but I think it might be. I think it's hitting something else there. It's it's yeah. There is a there's a tiny little gap there, tiny little little bit. So that is perfect. And those are. You want these to be tight, but not squashed. Because if you squash them too much, you lose some of the vibration isolation properties. So pop them like that. And if I was feeling really clever, I'd put a drop of glue on each of those just to stop them moving. Um, obviously, <laughs> I've now taken off and re redone this ESC. I think that's four or five times now. So um, that's a good reason for not fixing down these wires just yet, not using Loctite on those. I've, I've had no end of that type of experience with just trying to get the the deck height right so that is now good and I can plug in the VTX here need a little fingers for this VTX plugged in there Good, and then I want this GPS cable to run underneath here. All right, and then the next thing I want to do is attach tracer feed that through so you can see this tracer module just go in there um, get the wires out on top it's a bit of a, a bit of a little bit of a puzzle oh, I think the problem is I've fed that Oh, that's okay. This can go underneath. Yeah. There we go. It's out of the way. This guy is out of the way there. And I think probably I do want this is I do want this underneath the VTX cable here. Is it out there? That's there. And so what I'll do is I'll just I'll make sure that's kind of all the way across. There. And then what I'm gonna do is get a, a zip tie from somewhere. Need to find a zip tie. I'll just go and find a zip tie. All right, got a zip tie, and then what I should be able to do is feed that through the hole there over this guy. Oops.
bed. So turn that on. Cut that off. All right. So then this guy now needs to be stuck down. Moment of truth, so I'm going to remove that sticky piece of sticky and stick that under there. Uh, and I think I will sort of get it. I think in the middle is probably good because then I get a bit more airflow. Awesome. Good. The uh, this camera cable seemed a bit tight. I'm not quite sure why that is. Doesn't feel like it's. Well, hopefully that's not caught on anything. Hopefully that's all fine. Uh, I'll stick those cables inside there. Go around and then the GPS. So I've got these little aluminium spacers, they're threaded spacers, and they fit just nicely. These holes, I suppose I could have got Justin to cut these as M3 holes, but uh, they're M4 or 5. Gives a little bit of strength to these. Okay. Stick that in there. The hole was clearly not as big as the other one. <laughs> So often with these I put the battery strap on um, at the same time because it's just a bit easier to get the battery strap on. So battery strap should go in the middle there, which is nice. And then I just check all the wires are out the way. Looks good. Looks good. I think those are all correct so then I think I use these six mil ah. that's not so clever is it six mil nuts yeah There's no wires caught anywhere. All looks good. 
So then what I'll use is the 16 mil uh, bolts that came with with the frame. I'm going to use those to secure down the GPS mount. So screw those in. Pop it on the back there. Good. That one's good. Oh, <laughs> it's not completely missed. of the mechanical strength is not through this rear one. I don't want to squash it too much. It's all through these bolts here. Oops. Brilliant, and then I can stick a tenor on the back. And uh, I'll probably tighten that up a little bit with a spanner. And then the only remaining thing to do is stick some zip ties to secure down the motor wires so I will put the um, Immortal T underneath there they're sort of designed to take zip ties so that one would be like that around there so you can see put the zip tie around this little little bit here which is just sort of designed to take a zip tie. this one because it's you can see it's sort of a little bit a bit off there so I'm gonna need one to secure the immortal T Sure, that'll go. 
Does it turn the process? But uh, do for now. That's quite tight, and I'll probably I'll probably stick another one just to hold the motor wires and that down as well. But there we go, fully assembled. Nice. So next step is to start making sure that. Uh, everything is operating correctly and everything is calibrated so that we can get flying. So nice, I'm pleased with that. Didn't take that long really. Very nice, very nice. Good, looking forward to flying that.